SNS offers all kinds of performance products, but you know the vintage bikes, they really, really like those, and a lot of us like those too. But one thing that we've realized over the years, we've gotten used to those electric starters, so when it comes back time to kickstart a bike, we either didn't know how or we've forgotten how. Bruce here is going to show us the proper way to do a kickstart bike. That's right, Wally. Uh, since we've uh, bought the Flathead Power brand, we've got a lot of people calling up and asking, you know, how do I kickstart this thing? And I'm having trouble with it. And there, there are some pretty simple techniques that you can do that make this thing work pretty well. Now, I bought this bike uh, shortly after I started working here in SNS. That was like 1989. And it was a semi-basket and it didn't have an electric starter. This is an FXE. It should have one, but it didn't. So um, I learned how to kickstart pretty quickly because uh, you have to. Now I'm riding a Super E carburetor on this bike and uh, something about the Super E carburetors and this is a little different than, a, than the stock carburetors is that the Super E has an enrichment circuit and you engage that by pulling this lever up and then I generally push it back down about an eighth of an inch when I, when I start this bike. Uh, if you had a larger motor you might want to leave it up. If whatever works is what you do and everybody has their own way of doing this. So I turn on the gas and I always turn the gas off because I'm just that kind of guy. I grab the throttle and I give it two squirts with the accelerator pump. If it's really cool out, you know, below 50 degrees, I might give it three or four. But it happens to be October here in Wisconsin, but it's like 70 degrees. So it's very nice. I like that. Anyway, then I turn on the key and I'm going to give it two kicks and it will be running. What did I tell you? Come on, <laughs> guys. A, hey, there you go. Now, there are other guys that uh, have different ways of doing this. Some guys will pull up the enrichner and kick it through about two or three times before they turn the key on. It seems to work for them. This works for me, so I'm sticking with it. Yeah.